Hey, hello and welcome back to my little shack full of machines. A little job uh, found me that uh, is kind of uh, interesting. And uh, it's this shaft here. And what this is, is um, a, a business makes a uh, uh, this tool and it's um, a line boring tool and it's for repairing uh, 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 aluminum cases like a power transfer case or a motor I forget which it is but they kind of a clamshell fit and uh, he can use uh, uh, bearings bronze bush bearings on the ends and uh, pilot this through and have a cutter in the center here that'll uh, trim a, a boss or a, or a bush and so this uh, device can be rebuilt. But uh, the problem he's having is getting this uh, shaft uh, made correctly. He's uh, He's got a lathe and he's a great machinist, but his lathe's kind of old and it's uh, just a, a standard uh, engine lathe, not a Monarch 10 AA or something like that. But this uh, type of thing can be created, you know, uh, it just uh, on, on a pretty worn machine. Um, with 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 due care. So uh, one of the things I want to point out in this video is the the fit of the bearings. Now the size here of this shaft is three quarter inch, and the ends are turned down for um, uh, five eighths uh, bushings. Okay, and the bushings will be shorter than the shaft here, and that'll travel through. I, I see, <coughs> excuse me, I seen a completed shaft and it has a spring, I think on this long end. So and it's probably powered with an air drill or something. And uh, it gives you some resistance um, on how this thing works, you know, a line, a line boring tool. So, okay, uh, the, so the fit, on these bearings is 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 got to be precise because it it it's uh, it's a tool. So where do you start? And I will show you. And the best starting point is in Machinery's Handbook. And uh, so you look at fits F I T S in the back here, and it'll get you. Let's see if I can get over here. Did not lose it. You get into the section here. Let me find it. I got it kind of marked pretty good. Into allowances and tolerances, okay? And so you get into these rotating fits and it'd be a running clearance, uh, slide, a sliding clearance fit, RC. And uh, an RC one is real, real tight. And so we're looking for a precision running fit, which would be an RC3. Okay, so we can go back to the, go to a table here a little bit back in the book. And uh, you can look at the nominal size of the shaft. And so we got a 0.65 shaft and they have a, uh, a list here of 0.40 to 0.71. And we look over on here. And uh, it, it gives a uh, uh, minus uh, shaft diameter from nominal and, you know, that so you can get your running clearance. But the running clearance boils down to, to uh, uh, six ten thousandths to one thousandths clearance uh, um, precision running fit at six, okay, six ten thousandths to one thousandths. So... Um, You'd want it fairly tight, you know, but you still have to have lubrication in there. And in a plain bearing, a rotating shaft builds up a wedge. And uh, so you, you got to have enough clearance so you'll have that wedge oil to keep uh, the bearing from uh, damaging itself. So let's inspect this shaft. There's some problems. Now, 
I, I was told this was made on a CNC machine, and I, I don't want to make fun of CNC machines or anything like that. Uh, I, I really uh, don't have much experience with CNC machines. Um, I'm more of a mechanic and repair person, you know. But a CNC machine and a guy operated and it did this, and he told the guy, he goes, well, uh, I, I can get the shaft within a half thousand. Well, it... It you know, half thousands from what you know, and uh, if if the clearance um, is six tenths, uh, uh, it, it's not good to have half thousands variation in anything. But the problem is, we'll put it in here and inspect it. We'll have a look here. Let me get it in there. Okay. I'll get the camera moved up here kind of close so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Now I do this stuff all the time. Basically this kind of stuff. Let's see if I move a little bit closer maybe. Get around all the junk I got here. Okay. Now we do it in the time way. It's looking okay. Okay. Um. This is a tool I'm going to use to check it out. This is uh, a dial indicating uh, snap gauge. It's a uh, to toil. And uh, I'm going to set it to, for the nominal size of 5 eighths of an inch. So I got a, a, a half inch gauge block with a... Uh, um, uh, eighth inch gauge block rung to it. So that makes uh, uh, 0.625. And I'm going to roll it into the gauge. What, see? Now watch this. Just kind of roll that up like that. And then I'm going to walk that gauge block back in there. Wiggle it around a little bit until it feels just right. Then we'll have a look at the dial here. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Right on. So it's indicating when it's on zero exactly five eighths of an inch within a ten, <laughs> within a ten thousandths or a little bit better. Ah, a little drink of coffee there. Okay, so let's stick it on the work here. Uh, maybe I can move you just even a little bit closer here. I want you to be able to see the gauge. And how I use this. Now I'm going to put the gauge on here. And I'm just going to roll it forward. Like this. Oh, so delicately. Okay, we're going to see we're um, one thousandths under nominal size. Okay. So let's, let's move it out to, towards the end here. We'll move it out to the very end. Now I'm going to roll it again. Oh, okay, we got about three ten thousandths variance there. I'm going to check it in the middle. Ah, it's getting a little bit uh, pretty crappy there in the middle. Let's get back over here. Whoa! Okay, we got a, a lot of variance here, more than a thousandths of an inch on a journal that's supposed to have six ten thousandths uh, clearance, you know, for a minimum fit. Okay, let's move her back about center. Okay, let's get it over here. Oh, it's just way too much. About six tenths uh, under here. And I'm going to clock this thing just by moving it uh, about a third of a turn, let's say, huh? And see where we're at there. You see, this thing's not even round. So something happened when this was machined. I would suspect that a center. Or something was uh, loose, or something, because it's a, it's about four tenths out of round, which is you know, 
I, I've never had a machine that crappy. So something happened. But anyway, we've got... Uh, Okay, see, that we're back to just right around uh, one thousandths uh, under nominal. Let's move it to the center here. Look at that. See, we got another uh, seven ten thousandths um, out. Uh, this is just really terrible. Whatever happened here, it's just not, that is uh, not a bearing surface, okay? All right, I'm going to set this back here. Let's have a look at that other end. See where we're at here? Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to stop the video and I'll be back, okay?